Gen 4 NVM is uh, the new revolutionary weapon in the world of high-end games, graphics and editing. Hello YouTube, welcome to Gizmo Hub for technical support. But before that, hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification to get more such videos like this. Make sure your motherboard has a dedicated M.2 slot which supports PCI Generation 4 NVMe SSDs. My B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard have one. I will also share the link in which I have given a full review of that motherboard. If you want, you can go and watch that video as well. You will find various options in the market like the Sabrent Rocket, Aorus from the Gigabyte and MP600 from Corsair. So in this video, I will show you MP600 Corsair. I have bought this online at around 10,000 rupees. The 500 GB version of the Corsair Force MP600 offers up to 4950 Mbps of sequential read speeds and 2500 Mbps of sequential write. You also get a 1TB and 2TB version of this MP600 series which has more sequential write speed. The previous generation SSDs had max speeds of up to 3500 Mbps while the new generation claims up to 5000 Mbps. As with the previous generations, the 4.0 standard simply doubles the speed that the PCI slot runs at. It now provides about 2 Gbps per lane compared to the 1 Gbps per lane of the PCIe 3.0. Now I will unbox it and install it in my PC to check out the performance. Inside the box we have this manual, this will help you to install the SSD. And finally we have the M.2 Gen4 PCI 4X SSD. This small and powerful NVMe SSD is nicely designed and it easily fits directly into your motherboard, freeing up the drive space in your PC to provide better airflow and easier cable routing. The MP600 is equipped with a high surface area aluminium heatsink helping to maintain its performance even under heavy load. Now I will install the SSD in my PC and for that I have to remove the default heatsink that comes with the motherboard for my M.2 Gen4 slot. So after removing the thermal shield, I will replace my existing M.2 generation 3 NVMe SSD with this new one. It is always better to clean the area first before installing the SSD. So make sure that your SSD fits tightly in the slot and after that tighten the screw on the other end. Since the MP600 Gen4 NVMe PCI has inbuilt aluminium heatsink, so my default thermal shield is not required anymore. I will have to keep this for future use. So my installation is done, now let me check the same in the BIOS. So I have logged into the BIOS and as you can see the force MP600 is showing up in M.2 slot 1. So that's the installation part, now let me quickly check out the speed performance of the same. I have a faster boot time now. I have also compared my old generation 3 NVMe SSD with this new one on crystal disk mark and the results are on screen. So this is my generation 4 
SSD the new one and this is my old generation 3 SSD and as you can see the results on screen the generation 4 SSDs are almost twice faster than the old generation SSDs. So that's all friends in this episode. See you all in my next video.